where, where our founding fathers had taken it. And you know, you hear in the media, they talk about democracy, right? The, our democracy, our democracy. This is not supposed to be a democracy. The, the word, it's a Republican form of government means it's re a republic of the people, for the people, for the benefit of the people, right? So a, a republic is different than a democracy. And so they, your public officials don't want you to know that you are their boss. And uh, they are the public servants. We are the masters, okay? But we uh, operate as believers in a culture of honor. And uh, anyways, so page one. That's pretty loud, huh? Your rights. This is just the preamble that do you want a syllabus? The state would have you believe that they control every facet of your life. Public officials, legislators, congressmen, senators, presidents would have you to believe that they create legislation and sign into law to take away or diminish your rights in the process. If you know your rights, nobody has lawful authority to take them away or diminish them. Government officials not content to function in their limited delegated authority given to them by we the people, it's a big echo on that, have attempted to subvert our thinking into believing that they can do as they will and that we must accept their every rule, regulation, ordinance, and law having authority over their God-given rights. Our God-given rights. The state has authority over what they created. The state has created corporations as artificial persons, okay? So don't go tilt when you see that word artificial person because I'm going to explain it. All right? All, it's all in capital letters. That's basically a corporation. That's not you as a person. It might have your picture there, but that's an artificial person according to the law. So that's a fictional straw man is subject to its creator. So, page two. So the name of this conference is Above the Line, okay? You know, we said the Pledge of Allegiance how many times in school, right? And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, okay? It, it's a republic, okay? A republic, that's two words, res publica, which means of the people, okay? And so what we're going to do is I'm going to break down a couple of Latin words. Uh, jurisdiction basically means... We know what diction, a dictionary is. Those are words. So jurisdiction means words of law, okay? And status is basically who you are, okay? And that's what we're going to talk about. Who are you? We are not, a lot of people identify themselves with uh, their occupation. Well, I'm a, I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor. I'm a lawyer. I'm a teacher. No, you're one of the people you serve as a teacher. I'm a policeman. No, you're a person serving as, as, as an officer. So we need to find out we are created in the image of God, okay? In, 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 in the Constitution, it says that all men are created equal. And so when we, we have associationism, basically, as people in this country. We're, we're like fascinated about who we, who we know. Like, guess what? I know the pastor of the big church down the street and... You know what I mean? And, and I know Bruce Willis, because I was watching Die Hard with a Vengeance last night, you know? And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who we know because it's, it's just, we're created in the image of God. We're children of God and all people are created equal. And so we, we need to know who we are, okay? And so basically what this conference is about is who are you and how does the law apply to you, okay? So when you hear the 